Costco, Trader Joe's and Walmart are among several major retailers that have issued recalls on certain dairy items following an FDA announcement this week connecting a listeria outbreak to potentially dozens of products, which has caused over 20 hospitalizations and two deaths, 1,600. That's how many people get sick with listeriosis in the U.S. each year, according to the FDA. Of that number, around 250 people die each year. Listeriosis is an infection caused by listeria bacteria, which contaminate many foods, according to the CDC. Soft cheese, meat spreads, sprouts, unpasteurized milk, melons, cold smoked fish and deli meats, cheese and salads have the highest risk of listeria contamination. Adults 65 years and older, those with a weakened immune system, pregnant people, newborns and fetuses are the most at risk for getting food poisoning. The hospitalization rate among those with listeria infection is 94%, the FDA reports. Most listeria cases are treated with antibiotics. Though listeria infection in pregnant people is generally mild, it leads to fetal loss in 20% of cases and newborn death in 3% of cases, the CDC reports. Symptoms of infection include fever, fatigue, diarrhea, vomiting, muscle ache, stiff neck, confusion, loss of balance and seizures. Recalled Kids applesauce pouches from three brands were linked to an Ecuador-based cinnamon processing company earlier this week. The pouches were recalled due to lead contamination and 90 confirmed cases of lead poisoning. The FDA believes the contamination could be intentional as a result of food fraud, adding a cheaper ingredient to food to cut costs while selling the food at a higher value. However, because the processor and its distributors didn't directly ship their products to the U.S., the FDA has limited authority in the investigation. Lead poisoned applesauce. Ecuadorian cinnamon processor, likely sourced behind recalled pouches, FDA says, Forbes.